hello guys i in this video we'll be talking about creating uh, money.com boards with chat gpt so let's get started so first and foremost when i get into my money.com workspace i head on to the plus icon to create a new board now i'm going to be using uh, a contact board as a key sample here so if i start with my contacts my contacts Yes, and I have here as contact name, contact names. Yes, and I create my board. I can either make it private or shareable, whichever case may be. And then I have my custom names. So if I head on to uh, my contact board, which is just created, what I need to do is to head on to chat GPT and put in this prompt. So what I am going to say to chat GPT is give me, give me ideas, give me ideas for columns, for columns that can be created, that can be created, that can be created from a CRM board or that can be created for a CRM board for a CRM board in money.com this simple prompt is going to generate uh, insights to creating different columns for your board um, uh, in money.com so let's get uh, let's hit on the send button to see the prompt so creating workflows for crm board depends on the specific needs and workflow so this is going to be dependent on your specific needs but this is a way to get insights ideas about how um, to name your columns in money.com so chat gpt is a great tool to creating columns ideas and labels for you when it comes to creating boards in money.com so if i head on back to money.com with this insight i got name lead name company organization contact information lead sources and status and the most interesting thing is that uh chat gpt is going to give you different forms of labels take for example it's going to give you different forms of labels for contact information we talks about email addresses phone number contact details prospects qualify lead contacts and close lead for statuses so let's add on to putting what we have here we are having it in money.com so if i go in money.com of course money.com has given us a preset columns that are necessary to create in a contact board so if i go on or i decide to leave this or i can add on to more columns by saying text i go here and i put in my lead name uh, we already have a contact name, um, company organization or organization. So I can come here and then that's an insight. I put in company organization, company organization, company hog. So let me put it as short. So now there's one one feature that I want which is creating a, a status. Yes, we can create a lead status and um, what kind of lead it is. Is it prospects? Is it qualified? Is it contacted or closed? So how do I do this? I come in here and I create status. Then I give my status labels by putting in this information, prospects. Okay, all right, let me copy that. Prospects, put that in as prospects, put this in as qualify lead qualify lead let me use this as a qualify lead um let me uh, contacted 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 and um and then closed so let me take that last one and then say closed so and then say closed so now if I apply that label and I put in, I change it back to lead status, lead status, 
yeah so i can pick any of these use this uh, or use this so dependent so we can create in forms of uh, drop downs take for example we have got um contact informations okay let's say contact information or maybe um phone number email or sources take for example we can have sources we can have sources oops apologies we can have sources as a drop down take for example we want to have a drop down section drop down we want to have a drop down section so we want to have a drop down section so we want to name this drop down section as lead source uh, lead source yes so now we can do this we can create a label for our lead source we can say um, uh, is it gotten from a website from a website okay we create a label here yeah, we can add more label um, we can we can say we got them from an event yeah we can apply that as well to create so we can have more we can say uh, the lead source could be referral 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 and then we create a label so now these are process in which you can create um, different forms so we can have this for events we can say okay this item is gotten from referral and we can say this is gotten from a website so and so on and on you can um, create this to fit in your requirements uh, be it uh, a CRM board be it, uh, a fright company board be it a real estate board be it whichever board you want to create you can um, leverage on the use of chat GPT to create your boards okay so let me know if you have any question in the comment section and then I'll be ready to answer. Thank you very much.